Hey yo, how are you and you and you and you? So it's been a while. I was trying to commit to posting videos every week, but I failed. And I feel bad, so I won't commit to weekly videos as much as I try to do a good algorithm for my YouTube, I cannot. But I will still do my best to post videos, so please don't hesitate to click subscribe as I have tattooed vlogging in my heart. Today, I'm going to share to you a part of my Christian journey, which is how I bring myself to have a closer relationship with God. But before that, I would like to share a Bible verse, which is, Draw near to God, and He will draw near to you. Sometimes our life blocks our sight to God, our work, our relationship, even the things we want to do, any activities blocks our sight to God because God sees the heart that there's no room for Him. So He had given us to our hearts. But when we experience drawing ourselves to God, we will experience the love, the will, the plans He had laid, out, laid for us because God sees the heart and the relationship that you establish with him if you set your mind and your heart having a relationship with god you know he's the faithful one in the relationship so it will be a really amazing experience just having a relationship with god before, I thought that being rich answers everything, but God showed me that contentment is actually much better. It gives me so much joy in my heart. And before, I thought that following one's heart means happiness. You know, we're supposed to live our life the way we are supposed to because we're going to die, so live it to the fullest. But then, God changed me by showing that self-control is much profitable than living a wasted life and lastly God changed me completely by sending calamities I don't know disasters in my life by showing that I am not in control and it showed it showed me how limited I was and I have come to the point wherein there must be a God who can do all these things you know and God revealed to me that I was so ignorant that I keep ignoring His existence. So He did all those things to realize I am not capable, which is true. And by drawing myself near to Him, I experienced the most amazing life I could ever live. He showed me His love. First, he showed his love through his mercy by making me, rea me realize all these things. Showed me his mercy by showing forgiveness and bringing salvation in my life through the life of Jesus Christ. And ever since then, my life was changed. The way I live my life has changed. And I have never wanted anything in my life but Jesus. And every day, I cherish my moments with God. So, moving forward, how I bring myself to have a closer relationship with God, it's by doing daily devotions in the morning. I do my best to wake up early in the morning, which is probably 6 or 7 a.m. I set my mind, my heart, and my conscience to what God has in store for me today. I pray to God with words of how glorious and powerful He is, with words of praises and worship. Then I ask for purification, cleansing of my heart, 
and confessing my visible sins and invisible sins that I do not know and expose it so there would be a renewal of mind. Then I give thanks to everything I am grateful for and then I pray for supplication to supply the needs of people I know and my needs and my wants as well. Then move forward on the day by grooming myself, trying to keep myself awake because it's really hard to wake up in the morning. And of course, I make my bed up because that's what a responsible person does, to make one's own bed. And I also really want to look at my bed really nice and clean. It helps my mind. And of course, wash my face to finalize my waking up feeling so I would actually show a happy face just like that. And go on by the day by brushing one teeth every morning. And the beverage of the morning, which is coffee! Coffee is the best thing. Well, not the best thing, but it's really good in the morning. It's just the morning isn't complete without coffee. I go to my study table, sit on the chair, open my notebook, get my high get my highlighters and everything, and open the Bible, look at my reading plan, and pray. After I read, I write notes down by dividing the sections in my notebook, which is reference. Examine, application, prayer, reap. Reference, examine, application, prayer, reap. In reference, I write down the chapters of the Bible I am reading as of the day. In examine, I write down what rebuked me, what corrected me. You know, that's the, from the root word examine you examine your heart i'm gonna give you an example do not toil to acquire wealth well be discerning enough to desist i could examine my heart this could mean being workaholic is a bad thing especially if the money goes to self-indulgence or in other words too much sugar for you is bad sugar is good but too much of it is bad so there you go. I have examined my heart and I write it down. Then afterwards, in application, I write down what ought to be done, what should be done. When God had revealed to me something as I have examined my heart. So with the example earlier, I could um, put in the application section, be discerning enough to desist. Learn how to say no. Learn how to test. Learn how to inquire before actually acquiring something, you know? Will it benefit me or not? It will probably benefit my flesh, but not too much. Lastly, I put down the things of what I should pray for. So I write it down. I think that is self-explanatory. Just a bonus section as well. I put in the things I am grateful for. To have appreciation for the day and to have excitement for the time to come. 
that's pretty much it. After I finish doing my daily devotion, I end with a short prayer. Just like this. Thank you God for your work today. I look forward for tomorrow. You know. Whoever is watching this video, you would have the excitement to have an alone time with God because it's amazing. It's experiencing Him. And just to end this vlog, I just want to share um, this nugget of mine that I always keep in my heart. I love having an alone time with God because I see my home my home so yeah thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share don't forget to encourage others as well others as don't forget to encourage others as well by sharing this video